Greetings. Good life. I'm going to continue reading my Benevolent Magic blog for you. This post was put up on Friday, October 7th of 2005, and it's called Feeling the Important Thing. I'd like to clear up a point. There has been some confusion about this, and I feel it is vitally important. There is a way to experience, to accomplish, if you like, benevolent magic, and to experience or accomplish living prayer that is a shortcut, and that is that if you feel in the moment you're asking a very strong feeling that is a need, a personal need for you to experience what you are requesting, that even if the words are not exactly right, that it can happen almost instantaneously for you. I need to stress that it's all about the feeling. This is especially true when requesting something for your physical body. It is not always the case, but it can be. So be clear on what your needs are, and be clear that this is a feeling need, not a thought, not a jealousy of what others may have, and what you may perceive simply that they have, but an actual need for you. I will give you an example. You may see other people eating from time to time, yes, probably on a regular basis, but here's an example of a need you completely understand. You know when you're hungry, and I don't mean time to have a snack. I mean you know when you're really hungry. You feel hungry and you've got to eat. That's an example of a physical need and you fulfill it by eating, and that's good. You may have other needs. Say your living prayer or your benevolent magic when you feel those needs, and the more urgent the need, the better. Now, I don't mean that the more urgent it is in a matter of life and death. Certainly, say your living prayer in those moments, yes, or your benevolent magic in those moments. The need is present and will often be fulfilled. But be aware that the degree of feeling you have for needing what you are asking for, even if it is a living prayer asking things for others, you might compassionately feel a need. Yes, of course. But you may very well have a strong need for yourself. When you say benevolent magic, it is more likely to work then, and quickly too. I also want to acquaint you with a very convenient form of benevolent magic, and that is something called Most Benevolent Outcomes. You will have a chance by either reading articles in the Sedona Journal of Emergence written by Tom Moore to read about that form of benevolent magic, or in time you will be able to go to benevolentoutcomes.com or benevolentoutcomes.org and read about that form. It is also a valuable form and Tom will explain his methods to accomplish it. I may from time to time in the coming weeks and months post a guest column here. I will make sure to label it clearly that it is a guest column. Perhaps Tom will write one or perhaps another friend Gary. Gary has created the International Benevolent Magic site for which there is a link available here, and there is much to be offered there. I will ask them if they would like to make a contribution. Good life to you all.